kind of like a trash to treasure fix me kind of series that's tea times fixer uppers and they're kind of extreme fixer uppers that I'm wanting to do and eventually I'm hoping that you guys can submit something as well but for today I have something from my brother-in-law um, so the concept of this is that he has created something fairly well he'd call it a masterpiece and it is and I suggest you go over and onto his channel and have a look at what he's done but he's never played sims before um so he decided to make me a nice big build it's so big it took me ages to fix but so much fun um so he's created this i'm gonna have to call it a monstrosity um but i sort of analyzed it and thought how can i make this a functional house um where i love the feel and uh, intent for the place is sort of kept um yeah so as you can see he really loves these statues um they're everywhere stairs he forgot to take out paint because apparently they haven't finished painting an outhouse which i do turn into something else and um the shape of the house is let me just show you so it's this uh yeah interesting shaped house um, if we go down, um, so we go in, he has put the labyrinth door knockers here, um, but which door should we choose? Uh, let's go in this one. This is, all right, so the first door is a death pit. Um, <laughs> I call it a death pit. It is a death pit. Plenty of llamas out here. The second door comes into an entryway. Um, so this is the entryway, um, which comes into this room. Um, there's plenty of flags. I'm sensing something to do with that, but I'm not sure what. Um, an aquarium. Oh, I think I forgot to put an aquarium back in. Sorry. Um, confusion. Uh, confusion. This is the bedroom. Um, it is like a dorm, um, I think. Like a dorm with a theme of a color. Is very purple. Apparently they're into protein. I don't know. And a bathroom here. Also next door is a completely empty room. Um, here is a bathroom, some kind of door, television. For entertainment, this is out here the uh, dining hall with like no lighting. A lot of the windows you'll see are very open. So I think they're into um, nature and uh, open lights and what is this? I'm gonna bash my head on that. Um, and pastries. <laughs> Love reading. Here's a whole reading corner and some research, like a lab maybe or a learning area. Massage chair. I'm so confused. This room really confuses me. This is. I mean, you'll have to go to his channel to find out what he was thinking. Because I don't know. In here we have the kitchen. Um, yeah, it's... I mean, it's functional? Nearly. I don't think there's a sink. <laughs> oh no, there it is. Um, and if we come down here, there is a room dedicated to this statue of armor. Um, as you do in here is what I like to call the cat room. The cats have their own television. They've got a box. It's very green. Um, yes, and there's a rabbit to chase. So whoever this is really loves their cats. And then just here we do have a tiny little dark office. And more robots. I'm not sure what the robots are about. This is the party room. I did call it the kids party room. And apparently it's not. But it is a kids party room. Um, karaoke, bright colours, dancing. This looks like Five Night at F Nights at Freddy's or something. And this door goes out here. Which is thoroughly confusing. Um, if we over come over here, past the kitchen, you do see there's a living room. A nice big TV, game machines and whatnot. And then a big empty hall. And we have missed one room. So this is the special room. And I did put this back in the house somewhere. This is the summoning of Gnome Thulu, I think. Um, so it is... <gasps> I don't even know. I don't know what this is. Um, 
It's some kind of sacrificial summoning room. I don't know at all what was going through his head. He's an interesting character. Love it. Um, but yes, that is this build. Um, it's special, but I do change it up. I do notice a few things like they love this whoever lives here loves statues they love greenery on the roof the shape of the house nice big spaces so I do change it up I keep the snail I believe yep and the llamas and this fountain as well um, so anyway let's get into it okay guys we're back in with the uh, recreation of this masterpiece so you can see the shape of the house quite a bit better with that roof off that monstrous roof um by the way i do suggest you go and watch my brother-in-law's video over on vaguely heroic i will link it down below and i will link it at the end and just everywhere because yeah i feel like um that channel is a bit underappreciated and there's a lot of potential there um yeah and uh, a bit of a bit of love would really go a long way for those guys um not to mention that i know he's kind of it should be funny. If you watch my stuff and my builds, you probably will be somewhat entertained by what he is doing anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but I am changing up this house a little bit here. I'm trying to keep the feel of the front of the house. I did change that little water pit into two little water things at the front. Um, but I do move that to be a pond at the back of the house instead. So we've got some water somewhere, but I do keep two entrances to the house. So you can see I've got the vague sort of shape here, but I do take away um, the roofed bit for those sort of diagonal sections and make those balconies instead, just because it was so much house and it's a horrible shape to try and roof and it wasn't looking right and I basically cut all that out <laughs> and gave up. At one point I was actually doing domes for the whole thing which is really weird um, <laughs> but it kind of looked awesome but it didn't feel like the original house so I stopped and I did uh, slightly more pointed roofs, um, traditional roofs. Um, yeah but I really love I really love the roofing on this actually it makes a really beautiful mansion if you want a mansion um, for sims there's a lot of room in this place and uh, change some of the floor plan and throw a huge family in it's it's gorgeous you could also do this whole back section you can see with a flat roof here you could put a glass roof on there and make it a pool but because it is more of a I think I make it into more of a student house there's not really a pool. Um, I didn't see the original owners of the house or whoever owns it perhaps now still. Um, yeah, I didn't see them having a pool. I suspected maybe they were older, very stylish, but this place they had sort of given away as a student house perhaps, except that it's a little quirky and there's some very bizarre things going on in this house, which alludes very much to um, the state it was in when I got it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was um yeah it was a bit scary wasn't it um but do go upload that one from the gallery and have a look see if you can do better i would love to know uh what your interpretation of the original build is um it is up on my sister's uh um uh, la, 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 page um her origin id is uh i'll link that down below too actually um rather than trying to say it here because it'll take me forever to remember exactly what it is and it will be me stumbling over words so i do it but i do really love the roofing in the end i put greenery on the roof because there was greenery on the roof originally so i thought yeah why not why not do that again recreate that yeah um but this sort of series i would really love for it to become a sort of a semi-regular thing um if anybody's really interested, uh, send me something monstrous. Maybe not huge. I'd like to restrict it perhaps in the future to something like a 30 by 20, 30-30 um, max maybe. Um, just because it took so long and it's such a huge chunk out of not just my week but weeks. And um, it takes a lot of effort to um, edit it down to something small enough that I feel okay voicing over it in one part. Um, just because if it does end up being a collab type thing like this one is um, I don't want to necessarily release it in separate parts just because 
I, I want to sort of coordinate with the other person. Yeah, so um, smaller builds, um, whatever weird, creepy thing you want to create that I can reinterpret into something useful, go for it. Or if you've got something that you just have not been able to figure out how it works, how the roof works, how to furnish it, whatever, I'm happy to help. Like I love weird challenges like that. Um, if you've got a description of Sims you want to live there, go for it. Um, I've got collabs a bit like that sort of coming up as well uh, in the future. So I don't know, I'm finding it so much fun to sort of interpret someone else's work before. But here you can see I am doing this little sculpture garden. So there was that big spiky sculpture that I never use, but it, there were two of them in the garden. So I decided that we would make a little sculpture area. It's very interesting doing a house that is obviously this rich and and um, yeah, wealthy people own this house, but it is in it is in the end almost furnished somewhere between really expensive and cheap student. It's it's kind of a weird mix. Um, you'll see when we get inside what I end up doing with it. But it was fun. It was a fun kind of challenge to put to myself. I think yeah. Um, you would have seen as well at the front. Uh, I did the hedges. I also put sunflowers back at the front of the house because there were already sunflowers in the build, and I thought I would yeah extend that along the front a little bit as well as using those palm trees that we have. Um, yeah, I think they're jungle adventure ones. I'm pretty sure they're jungle adventure palms and um, they were on the roof of the build originally so I put them down the sides to sort of line the house and they yeah I think they look kind of cool yeah <laughs> um, so here I'm just extending this whole um, the awning on the sides of the um, just the balconies here uh, just because I've moved out those poles to make it look a little bit better um, yeah but I do like a lot of the pieces that were originally used are Windenburg type pieces so from get together so I extended that a little bit using some of these more traditional looking dark um, finishings like the railings you can see on a lot of the um, yeah on a lot of the uh, verandas and, and so on and on that pagoda as well yeah and I am um, thought I'd keep the paths neat like I said no pool outside it's mostly hedges there's a pond it's very very clean very clean sort of sophisticated which I really like I don't often do that often it looks a bit more modern family um, type thing that I do um, and here we are trying to work out the doors I think a lot of the doors a lot of these are they from get together no they're they're seasons yeah um, I do suggest you get seasons if you don't have it and you're looking to get an expansion pack actually um, it changes the game up to a degree that is just unbelievable um, it's always been one of my favorite sort of expansions when it comes out simply because it alters the game so drastically it goes from something that's eternally summer to something that's got so much more life and um, not just that but a lot of the pieces that came with seasons are really beautiful so yeah I would suggest that's probably my number one expansion pack um, suggestion if anybody was asking nobody was but you know now you know <laughs> I just refer you back here if you ask. You have to watch this video all over again. <laughs> I wouldn't make you do that. Um, it'd be fun to do a QA and a at some point. Um, let me know if you guys are ready for a QA. and mm, I mean, I'm, I'm ready anytime, but I don't know if I have enough viewers yet to make that uh, viable. So, mm, yeah. I was thinking of maybe when I hit 100 or 200 or something like that, I could do a QA. and a And, um, yeah, maybe a viewer requested build or something like that. I think that could be fun. I really like interacting with you guys. I haven't been doing it so much lately because I've been so dead tired. I'm trying to get ahead of myself with my work um, so that I can get into a slightly more relaxed state because right now I feel like I'm jumping and, and, and going and going and going and going just to sort of keep on time with anything. But um, I want to get a few videos ahead of myself just so I can relax and also spend more time with my daughter and my husband uh, just so I'm not... <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to spend time away from them. Yeah, I mean, who who does? It's got kids. I mean, you want a break, but in the end, you don't really want to be away from them involuntarily for too long. Um, yeah, so I do want to get ahead of myself with my videos. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there now, and it's very exciting, and I'm enjoying playing Strangerville as well. But this, this was one of my highlights. This was just so much fun. Anyway, here's me doing the green roof. Um, yeah, I sized up a lot of these... Um, plants but I think I size a few of them back down because they were looking 
they were sort of clipping into each other when you zoom out in a way that I really didn't like so I do size down quite a few of them to make it less of a problem so I'm using the same plants over again some of these are from jungle adventure then some base game ferns and flowers and I think those sort of floor covering um, plants as well are base game so a lot of its base game um, in the garden area yeah it um, makes it very uh, simple if that's one of the only things you have um, so you have the basis for a chunk of the garden at least and then you can come back and furnish everything else which is oh my goodness good luck it's big <laughs> Anyway, we are decorating under here. This sort of outside area still looks quite grand and rich um, and it gets less and less so as we go inside in some areas. Um, it's just a very strange mix of furnishing. A bit eclectic. Some of it's really expensive like it was there and other bits are very cheap like the students or whoever they are have just dragged their old stuff in or whatever their parents maybe donated to them. I don't know. Um, that's sort of look that the inside of the house has in a lot of the main areas but the bedrooms and um, kitchen and things like that are well decorated like they were designed um, yeah which I I really like the look of um, it's a place that looks like it's cared for um, by whomever owns it um, yeah special place for students I don't know it feels a little bit like an experimental like a social experiment type house. That's what it feels like to me. It feels a little bit weird and I did sort of go for that a bit because that's some of the feeling I got originally from, um, yeah, my brother-in-law's original build. As you saw, it had a strange, strange, strange vibe though he has never built before. So who knows what he was intending in the first place. Like like I said, do go watch his video. It'll be, it'll be eye-opening for me. I am absolutely gonna be watching it as soon as I get a chance um, just because I know he's a bit of a crack up he's clever he's a clever he's a clever dude um, but yeah here we are separating out some rooms this floor plan took me a little while but not as long as I thought and so I actually keep a lot of it in um, we're just working those are dorms and a bathroom in that area over here we are working on um, offices and things like that so you might have remembered originally there was an office um, a little room with uh, a knight statue and also a, a, what I called the cat room so um, the party room itself is sort of removed a bit but some of the idea is put in some other places so there is a recreational area and a big open space um, near the entrance which could be transformed into party zone at any moment um, absolutely drag the speakers out and go crazy in that in that space so it's a bit of a fun little student thing that I put in there but here we are finally sort of coming up with the final floor pan that I do use nearly there's a couple of things that are missing um, but I am taking the walls out here so this is a sunken area I originally wanted to put a dance floor in here um, but I thought it might have been pushing the student house theme too much and I kind of didn't want that I wanted that to be a nice entryway that you could transform if you wanted to so I think the last thing I'm just trying to figure out is where to put some extra bathrooms just because I see six to eight sims living here and um, yeah you want a few bathrooms <laughs> and all of the bathrooms by the way um, except for one I think do have a separate toilet slash shower area uh, behind an extra door just so that it's very usable for multiple sims that need to you know keep using the toilet or whatever um, but that is I believe the final floor plan I think I do do one edit later on something but this is yeah basically how it is so I'm starting to work on the yeah this is going to be a secret staircase downstairs so I do try and use this um, door what is that from actually I think that's base game yeah that door is base game so I use that little base game bookshelf secret door to um, <laughs> to uh, yeah make this little staircase that goes downstairs and this is going to be our creepy little occult room um, so you might remember gnome Thulu as I think it's being called by my brother-in-law <laughs> Yeah, um, a little, I'm not sure if it's a sacrificial room, a summoning room, uh, but I do keep some of the original decorations and themes and feels uh, to give it that feel again. Secret in the basement, it'd be fun to also maybe even make this a bunker or a secret lab or, or something like that would be a nice little 
addition to this sort of build where it's a little bit like oh what's going on um yeah but I do put these um leaves back in I believe they were in the build originally those are from seasons which are absolutely gorgeous decorations but yes that is the creepy lab area <laughs> Creepy lab, creepy um summoning summoning circle. I don't know what that is. I'm yeah. I just I just really wanted to put it back in. <laughs> I wasn't sure where to put it, so the build looked serious-ish still. So yeah, I mean part of the reason for putting it downstairs is I want the build to still be functional, but kind of some of the quirkiness that was originally there. So yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to put a little skylight in here. Um, I do cut some of this out, but if you're wondering how I do do it in the end, is I lower down that piece and I do put two little half roofs on each side and raise them up to the height of the other full triangle roofs. Um, yeah, I might show you that sometime. If anybody ever wants a roofing tutorial, I'm not the greatest. I suggest going over to Sim Supply. <laughs> but I can do it if you really want, if you like something that I'm doing um, regularly and you're like, oh, how are you doing that? You keep cutting it out because I do that. Sometimes I cut out the same thing over and over without realizing it. Um, yeah, do tell me if you ever want to see something specific. I'm happy to take suggestions. Um, I'm just putting all the doors and things around. And now I am working on the cat room so the cat room has actual grass so I can use terrain editing um, which is kind of fun um, I don't do that inside all that often so it's a little bit of an inside um, garden so this is a bit um, I guess I see it as maybe a therapy room um, so a room that uh, the students can come to relax or maybe it's part of the social experiment I don't know but there was a cat room or something similar oh you know what I didn't do I didn't put the little penguin TV back in oh well it's not really a problem if I um, forget the penguin um, <laughs> or the bunny oh all the night lights oh all these little touches that are gone doesn't matter anyway you won't guess what just happened I am um, <laughs> I am um, I stopped the recording to just take a small break um, and I pressed space once and it didn't do anything so I pressed it again uh, clicking on the window that I open had opened to record anyway um, pressing space the first time stopped my actual voice recording and when I looked at it I thought that I hadn't been recording anything and I was freaking out it was like nearly 20 minutes of voice that oh man repeating voice stuff is just the worst um, because I become more concise so I get through it faster I also think I've said things so I don't repeat them sometimes um, and it just gets very confusing I hate it I just want to do it once um, pause if I need to but oh going back and doing the whole thing again is just the worst anyway here I am I'm finishing the sort of open area in the middle I think I do actually end up changing a lot of the floors to carpet um, after a long while just because I wasn't feeling the wooden floors but I did want to go with that light wooden floor originally just because there was a light wooden floor in the um, original build so I was trying to allude to that as well but eh, it didn't feel right this floor originally in the kitchen is linoleum but I again didn't I wasn't feeling that um, ended up making the kitchen a little bit more expensive so it's a built-in um, sort of thing made for a lot of sims um, to work with um, yeah but I, I really love it I think I, it worked out really well um, in the end I do change these cabinets in a second to yeah just nice good old um, base gorgeous ones um, base they are actually base game man there's some actually really good stuff in base game that I think we take for granted sometimes. Maybe because quite often when I'm doing base game stuff, I'm trying to do a starter house. And so base game plus starter stuff is just, ugh, it's gross. It's so gross. Ah, I don't like it at all. But you can make something quite nice with more varied objects in base game. I think I really want to do a building series after my starter house building series, which has got single packs, um, but maybe tiny homes. What would you feel about, how would you feel about tiny home builds? Um, with less of a restricted budget um, either we can put a budget on of something like 50,000 or just an unlimited budget and obviously I'm not gonna make it super expensive for a teeny tiny home but yeah a tiny home could be fun um, so more compact and just playing with whatever I want in that pack um, that could be fun but anyway I'm still working on the starter packs I don't know why I'm getting that far ahead of myself I kind of like just planning really far ahead 
Um, here we are, got a little coffee corner, microwave fits under there, double fridge. Um, there was originally one of these, um, those sort of stove tops um, that goes through the window. Uh, put a window in the wall. Um, it's from Dine Out, I believe. But one of those was in the original build, so I put another one back in. And you saw maybe I originally was trying to put two in, but I thought that was I thought that was too much, especially considering that I wanted to put uh, the dining room in here. It is on the opposite side of the house to where it was put originally, but I thought it sort of had that same sort of feel. Um, I was trying to figure out if I should put the tables sort of end to end, so it was a nice long sort of um, set up again, but uh, I wasn't feeling it. I couldn't make myself do it, so I do sort of settle with this side by side look instead and make it just a little bit of a nice little gathering space, very open. There's a lot of floor space in this build, um, just because it was a lot to furnish. And I mean, there was a lot of floor space in the original build, so why not? Um, yeah, but I do pretty much do the same curtains for most of the build. My good old, um, my go-to sort of sticking those chrome wall pieces from um, get to work up here on all the windows um, yeah to make sort of a railing that the curtains might slide along I just love the look of it it doesn't quite work with these curtains but it works well enough that I'm happy with what I end up doing yeah and it's just easy if you grab them and so so they're not locking onto the window just as they're not locking then you raise them up with a nine key if you are in move objects mode um, it just makes it much easier to adjust where your curtains and other things are using the nine key to raise things instead. Yeah, um, so here we are working on something sort of like a studying room. No computers in here, very simple. Those bookshelves do match the uh, secret door. I was wondering if I should try and press them more into the wall, but it, uh, it was too hard in the end. Um, so that's all cut out. And these are, I think I changed the tables to a glass table just now yes that one and I do use these simple chairs because they reminded me um, of the um, chairs that were in the original build um, but I do sort of mix them up so you can see this is where some of the cheap stuff's coming in like they're not necessarily cheap bookshelves but the chairs are like it's 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 a it's very strange and I kind of like it because of that um, so everything's nice and functional, but there's just a few touches of student life in here. I really love it, but it's weird and also creepy and you could make it much nicer, but I didn't want to go like nice because that's not what I felt from the um, original build that I got given. I didn't feel like it was just nice, nice um, here. Um, anyway, this is another sort of study room. It is a computer room um, to work on writing or whatever you want to work on. My husband was saying it reminded him a bit of a gaming house. So any of those esports teams, some of them um, live in the same house. It improves their teamwork drastically so they all live together. And that's what this was reminding him of. And I was thinking, ah, eh, these computers aren't good enough for that. <laughs> They need a much better setup, surely. That'd be a fun thing to try and make, though. Like an eSports game team house type thing. Um, yeah, but they do exist. Um, here I am sort of playing with a lab feel. There were a few lab pieces around in the original build, so I put a few different study type things um, around as well. I put the archaeology table from Jungle Adventure, more bookshelves and that little lab that I will work on again in a moment um, in this room here is um yeah so there is a pet one of the pet tables that's for creating the pet treats um, and some of the serums and things and also another lab table from uh, Get to Work for creating um, you know more human based serums um, I just thought that was nice I do put a little computer in here for um, sort of data entry and things like that but it is sort of like a clean sterile room for some practical study or work I'm not entirely sure which you could easily turn this into a house um, put it in Brindleton Bay and make it an actual vet room that could be a fun little addition if you wanted to do that um, yeah that's pretty much how that one ends up looking. I do start working on the dorms now. Um, I did start with single beds, uh, but I do change them to double, so I make it more of a, a twin room. Um, so you get one roommate um, along with the rest of the housemates. So in the end, it will sleep 
I mean, it was sleep, sleep six, you know, six to eight quite easily, but um, six is more what I had in mind. Um, yeah, room for expansion. You can change a different room to um, another dorm, but this is sort of what I went with. Yeah, um, and I preferred it in the end. So each room actually has a color theme. And this is a little bit because the original build did have a very strong theme of purple, um, or at least the carpet was overwhelming and that's in the end what I ended up picking up. So I went with colored rooms, so coordinated. So this first room is like this gray blue color. Um, a light sort of cyan blue and then we have the green room and then we have the gray room with some light woods um, yeah I really like them they feel both warm and sterile all at the same time just because they're so perfectly coordinated it's a little bit creepy and sterile but because of the color because of some of the tones it's actually really nice and cozy as well so yeah I mean if this was your dorm room it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world the sharing a room with another person is eh um, especially when you're an adult but I don't know maybe it's not a house for adults maybe it's for teens who knows yeah um, and I do put little chairs and the walk-in oh, sorry walk-in robes I built in robes in each room so that's the green room I'm moving on to the blue room so I'm using a lot of the same furniture for each one just to make it basically easier on myself and also more like there's a feel of a I guess a theme um, that this house was decorated for a purpose rather than sort of decorated as you go um, in a lot of the rooms um, some of them are definitely a decorate as you go type thing or old pieces of whatever put together you see in the rec room when we get to the recreational room uh, it is very much all thrown together sort of crazy um, stuff but um, I really like it that room really looks student like and um, very cozy and fun you could bring friends over and just um, sit and have some fun but yes I'm working now on the entryway to try and clean this up uh, give it some things near the front door just so it seems like a welcoming space because it's very big and um, yeah very open but like I said it make a really 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 good party space if you wanted to do that and a great dance floor space down in that lower area but here we are working on the rec room I put a few bits of gym equipment a TV couches game table another table to sit at maybe have casual food snacks or to play cards or whatever I don't know if Sims don't play cards at those tables that would be really cool if they could actually play games at any table I would like that I would like that. Anyway, I do have the actual card table out though. And I do end up finding the foosball table as well. I've used that a couple of times recently where I have never ever used it before. How funny. You do that sometimes. You're like, wow, this thing is suddenly useful to me. <laughs> I do change the couches in a second as well. I wasn't feeling them. I feel like this room was not that rich. So I do put the cheaper couches in, a couple of mismatched ones, and some ottomans just to make it a little bit more fun, somewhat matching, but also a little bit of that eclectic feel again. And um, yeah, I think it turns out really nice. I find a little side table um, just to throw a lamp on and change up the ottomans a little bit. There we go. So that's sort of how that looks. I use a couple of the rugs. I think I mostly use from the newest pack from Strangerville. Um, really gorgeous. I really like that rug. It's very strange. It doesn't really feel like it goes with the pack properly, but it is a really nice rug, especially with that blue and orange sort of theme, that particular swatch I, I really do love. And there's also a pink version that I have used for another build as well. Um, yeah, I really liked it. Anyway, just throwing rugs everywhere. So you're getting that very eclectic feel from that. Um, yeah, but I think we're getting very close to being done with this build. I think this is the last room I do work on. Yeah, here we go. One of the lamps from the flea market and then we're going on to the bathroom. So I do make separate sort of cubicles in this room. And uh, yeah, I think it worked out fairly well. I do this in multiple bathrooms, but I don't show them all in the video because it's a, it's a waste of time. You don't need to see it. Um, I do have images. You can also download it off the gallery if you would like. But this is going to be the last room we are doing today. So a fake laundry basket, as you can see, I haven't used. Um, I've used some things from laundry stuff, but I haven't put laundry in. It'd be so easy to add it though. Um, but I didn't do that for this one specifically because I didn't really I just didn't want to. <laughs> so now and then I don't use it. I almost always use it in gameplay, but I just didn't use it for this. So um, 
yeah anyway we're coming to the end of the video uh, we've got some screenshots up you can tell me how you think I went with this renovation if you want to join in and have some fun with me sometime and have a go at creating something nutty and strange for me to interpret then yeah please do get on to me and um, let me know anyway here's the screenshots uh, let me know what you think and uh, like and subscribe if you are liking what you're seeing let me know what you're thinking and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time bye